Hello. It's a nice frosty morning. It's the Saturday after Thanksgiving. I uh, decided that since I don't have anything that really I need to do today, I'm going to be working on the bus. And the ground is all frosty. The bus is all frosty. It's nice and cold. Uh, but I'm just going to do a couple of things with the window sealant and getting it ready for putting the flooring and insulation in. I totally missed my window for painting the exterior, which is something I wanted to do before I started adding all this stuff to the outside, but not a big problem. <laughs> I went crazy with the, uh, the roof sealant stuff. I was finding a couple of leaks and decided that if I'm going to be just spot filling stuff in and using the, the caulk gun for it, might as well just use up the whole tube so I just went down a whole bunch of the seams and it's really stopped a lot of the leaks that are inside there's one problem though and that's this seal right in here for this window and I can't tell if it's actually condensation or not but what I'm gonna do is take out these two windows reseal them with the caulk um, same roof seal and stuff that I have here because this stuff is awesome uh, super durable and paintable uh, and then I'll be resealing it back in and yeah just popping them right back in all right so everybody's bus windows are a little different uh, I've noticed that the Thomas buses are pretty different from the Bluebird buses in the way that the uh, the windows are put in mine are super simple uh, I you know I took them out to get rid of it for the uh, to make room for the sheet metal over there, but it's really just two screws that come out super easy most of the time. I just jinxed it, I'm sure. Called it. Anyway, I'm going to get these out, and then it basically just takes a little bit of muscle and you just pull it down that way, and it'll pop right out. Then I'm going to scrape around the outside with my little scraper, get rid of all the caulk that's there, and uh, replace it with the uh, roofing stuff that I got. All right. All right, so I got my pry bar and my five-in-one. These are, especially this five-in-one is, it's worth like a million in one, I don't know. I've used this for everything from opening bottles to scraping paint to, you know, spreading caulk, whatever. This is an awesome tool, but I got the screws off. Uh, I don't know if you're going to be able to see. Screws are off the uh, the rails around the windows. I'm just going to basically use this to uh, get into these cracks and use it to kind of pry open. I can't do it one-handed, so uh, I'm going to do it and then I'll show you what how to remove this window. Basically leverage some muscle into here. Muscle into here it made these two really bad popping sounds. And then I can just pull it out this way. Just pull it straight toward me. You can see the seals break. Yeah, that's where I kind of did a little bit of the caulking myself, but I'm gonna have to redo it. Ah, there we go. Let's see what we got here. I don't know if you can tell, but you can see that water has been getting right behind this stuff. Uh, it's really wet here in this corner. This is just mud. You can tell that water's been either trickling down on the inside here or something. It's just, it's getting in. This part is almost always wet. But it comes in through this little crack, which I have now sealed. I went a little crazy with the uh, the roof sealant, but it's not going to matter. This is all going to be behind a wall. And it would come in through this crack right here. And it would trickle down. All the way down. And I think some of it was actually getting in these rivet holes, which are now sealed too. Or from the roof, but that's also sealed. And it was coming right out of this screw hole, or this bolt hole, or this bolt hole, and pooling up right there. It's not pooling as much as it used to, but it's still pooling, and I strongly suspect these windows, so 
All right, next step, put in the caulk and then pop the windows back in. Okay, cleaned up the uh, all the sealant that was, I guess it's butyl tape. Just holding these things in. Only seals on the bottom. So now I'm going to do doing my own sealing job, putting some of the sealant around on the inside of this lip here. Please focus on the foreground. Yeah. You can see it's like a steel lip. This stuff is going to come right off. But just put some sealant in there, all the way down. And then you can see where the protected paint is. So just run a bead of that stuff right along the bottom there. All the way up and around. Pop the window back in. I went ahead and put the, uh, the caulking all the way in, the roof sealant. Move it all the way up and around to the top. I already did this one. Came out pretty well, or worked, worked out pretty well. You can see. Uh, well, you can't really see. There's a little bit of stuff that I had to add, but I'll show you how to put this in, and hopefully I can do this one-handed. Just go ahead and stick it in. Let's see what's going on here. Alright, so it's placed down. And I'm just tipping it up. You can see some of it starting to kind of squeeze through down there. Hopefully it squeezes through all the way along the edge. over here too. All right, the window is in. Got both windows in. And now I just got the last thing, got my gloves on. The last little thing is this, the excess that's been sticking out underneath the window. I'm just gonna go ahead and run my finger along it, make it nice and smooth try to get rid of any of the access, excess up there because that's that might get in the way of how the window closes and then I think it's good so Just get rid of that little excess, that little excess bead up above the trim there. I think that's gonna be a really nice seal.